there we go. Now my audio. Woo! Okay. So hi. Um, I have very little time to record this. Don't know why I'm so frantic because I have 30 minutes. May or may not be enough time. I don't know. Um, but let's get right on into it. So, there's a mobile game that I play a lot of, Brave Frontier, right here on the screen. Um, and I kind of actually really enjoy it. So I figured why not do a video series on it. And give me, give me just a moment to close my window really quick because I don't want people to hear me and think I'm crazy. Okay, so, Brave Frontier, pretty cool game. Um, and I'm going to get into why it's a cool game. Um, over the, over the course of, of quite a few videos. And this is going to be like an introductory video to get you guys like, okay, this is how the series is going to work. And let's just get right into it. And the preferred way to uh, go about the whole playing the game thing is to actually um, log in via Facebook. So that way you have, so that way if you like research your phone or you get a new phone or something, um, you can just log on Facebook on your new phone and you have all your stuff still. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty nifty. Um, and this may take a little bit because it's on my phone. I It's a thing I use personally, so. The first thing that you see when you pop when you open up the game is a glowing light, whose name is apparently Lucius, the god of this gate, or I think it's pronounced Lucius, might be Lucius. It's from Lucy. <laughs> That's not actually Lucius, god of the gate. Gonna be a very important figure for the first what half the game. Oh yeah, if you actually tap to advance the text, that's right. I have been waiting for I have been waiting for the day of your arrival. Chosen one. What is your name? My name is gonna be what everyone expects it to be. Kaisen. Beyond this gate, a new source of power awaits you. So now we're going to pick our starting unit, and we have four cho choices, fire, water, earth, and thunder. This has an elemental si system to the game. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, water. And trust me, water is going to be the, <laughs> the best unit to start off here, and I'll explain why in a later video. I don't have much time this mo this video. You must go, make that power yours, and use it to bring peace to this world. And complete the tutorial, we get three gems and a hundred thousand Zell. And yeah, let's go ahead and do the tutorial because we want all that money. And if you guys will give me just a moment, I'm gonna do a little bit of resizing so that way things are a bit are better proportioned. There we go. Come on, wake up already. They, we have a very pretty girl in front of us, actually. Hmm? Me? I'm your guide, can't you tell? Didn't you hear from Lord Lucius? Hmm. I'm the goddess Tilith. I've been assigned as your guide to help you. Huh? Guide you where? Through, gang through Grand Gaia, of course. My, my, for someone who has the power to enter the gates, you're pretty clueless, aren't you? At any, at any rate, we need to first, uh, we need to get across the field, this field. We can talk, we can talk more later. I cannot talk today! Ah! But what's that? Look out! It's a monster! Quick, do something! Summon your units! What? You don't know how? You're a summoner, aren't you? Just concentrate! Well, I have units! That's right, that's how it's done. Wait, how did you man manage to summon Selena? No matter, quick! Attack now before he attacks us! Well, what are you waiting for? Attack! And now we're gonna learn how to play the game! Um, reduce enemies HP to zero, tap, tap on the unit, tap, tap, and they attack. And hey, we acquired a unit. Sweet. We're going to be going through three different fights here. So we're going to tap on that enemy. We're going to find out by tapping on, on an enemy, you find out what uh, element that enemy is. And you can find out what units you have are strong or weak against that and that enemy, so our Bernie is strong against it and our Sparky is weak against it, whereas against the Sparky, none of our units ha have any particular advantage. Um, and we get attacked and our 
Our unit's HP goes down, but each uh, unit can only be attacked. Uh, attacking is weird. You take damage, you take damage. Treasure chests occasionally drop. They will contain money, um, karma, which is basically two different kinds of currency. There's like so many different kinds of currency in this game. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. And now we are fighting a boss at the end of each um, set of battles. The final battle of each, I guess, quest. Uh, there's going to be a boss each, each and every time. There are exceptionally a few times, but that's like very special rare occasions for like um, special dungeons that I will get, I actually get into later in this video if you get if you'll give me like I, allow me to go through these first three tutorial. Um, quests. So, yeah, there's a lot to talk about here, and here are, here's the result screen. We get Zell, which is the currency, the name of the currency, Karma, another currency, Experience. We acquired a, another unit. A very basic unit, Mossies. And we acquired a Sparky, which we apparently already had, so it's like, hey, but th here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, do you know how long I've been waiting here? Wow, looks like you've, looks like you've already fused some of your uni units, am I right? They do look stronger. But the path ahead is truly a long one. Never forget to strengthen, strengthen your units. Your enemies will only grow stronger from here on out. Well then, let's continue with the fundamentals of battle. Are you ready? Let's make our way across the grasslands. I think it automatically fuses your units, I don't know. Or, I guess, puts units in your squad. Um, explaining elements, there's fire, water, earth, thunder, light, and dark. Uh, the first four, fire, water, earth, thunder, um, follow in a chain. Uh, th uh, Fire is strong against earth, earth is strong against thunder, thunder is strong against water, water is strong against fire. Uh, whatever is strong against one thing, the thing that is strong against is weak against it. So fire is weak to, so fire doesn't do a lot of damage against water, water doesn't do, do a lot of damage against thunder, thunder does, doesn't do a lot of damage against earth, and earth doesn't do a lot of damage against fire. Light and dark, light is strong against dark, dark is strong against, against light. And that's just how that works. And it's explaining that right here and there it is the basic chart that this is gonna be very helpful but it's actually very easy easy to remember the only thing it's kind of hard to remember but not really is earth is strong against fire is strong against thunder um just think of it as pokemon replace the green of earth with um the brown of ground type from pokemon basic way to go about it except ground it can actually be affected by thunder so Okay, so boop, boop, boop. And enemies will occasionally drop items which are used to craft various things. Uh, I'll get into that in a later episode. Again, I only have 30 minutes and I'm almost a third of the way up. Uh, and we're getting battle crystals, so we can use our, our first uh, Brave Burst. Brave Burst Story Mechanic, that, again, I'm going to get into more depth, probably in the next episode, actually. Uh, there are just a few things I want to cover here and there. Uh, mainly about what's going on at the moment that's going to be relevant for just the, the next few days. And here we have a skeleton. I'm just going to be ignoring the battle text for now, because it's stuff I, I can explain really easily. And this is just simply whack the enemy twice. So, yeah, we have one more um, tutorial battle to go through, and then I can get in, in, onto the other things I want to talk about. Oh, yeah, when you start up the game, apparently you have a limited time, limited time offer for um, getting gems, apparently two days. And I guess I'll get into that before I, I switch over to my other account to talk about the other things I want to talk about. So, but we'll get there in a minute, so... Um, oh, is it just two? It's just two? Basically, you're saying tutorial stuff. We don't need, need to know it. 
Oh, I know why we get three gems. Okay, 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 okay. We're actually gonna get, going to get into a thing that I want to talk about later on, right now. So, oh, welcome back. I've got news for you. Another powerful demon has appeared in Morgan. The Summoner's Hall has decided once again to assemble a Demon Slayer squad. And it looks like I'm going to be among its members. Seems like it's going to be a long expedition as well. So before I go, this is for you. The treasure of Grand Gaia. Gems. I got five gems! Woo! And now I can summon a strong unit. So let's see what unit we get. This is the thing, I, again, I want to talk about this later on, but I guess it's part of the tutorial, so... It has to be from this one. Fine. I guess it's just, um taking an older one. So, we get a very basic unit. Hopefully it's a good one. Yeah, a decent one. I actually... <laughs> but I, I guess we'll talk about this unit uh, in the next episode. Uh, there are, like, literally hundreds of units. HUNDREDS of units. No joke. Well then, looks like it's time for us to part ways. And I thought, and though I may be a demon slayer now, it, I wouldn't be surprised if you are recruit, recruited into the Seminar Army in, in the future as well. Our battlegrounds may dif differ, but our objective is the same, to protect this world. So get stronger, Kaisen. Should the day come when we find ourselves fighting the same enemy, I want us to have each other's backs. I bid you farewell. And yes, his name is Carl. The came. <sighs> and it's very complete. We got... No, oh, did we still have five gems? Hello? Game? Oh, yeah! I think I want to talk about the the uh, campaign that's going on. The uh, Beer Hunter Guilty Gear campaign. I guess this, uh, this is a good time to... Oh my gosh, got down there, thanks. Ah! This could be a common screen you guys will see. It's like the looting screen, checking files, downloading things, all that fun stuff, so... Get used to seeing that. Okay, so we actually have no gems, but... If we hold on a minute. There's one thing I want to talk about, uh, present box. We already have 30 thing, 31 things in our present box. Um, welcome, Summoner, because we just started the thing. Uh, Miracle Totems, Vargas, so we already have a really high unit, uh, high level unit. We get three gems right off the bat because of a thing that happened, compensation. Plus, the Guilty Gear collaboration that I want to talk about, um, here really quick. Uh, boop, boop, boop. All these things I can just... Oh, hey, three, ge three gems for completing the tutorial. Which means I can actually do a summon that I want to do. Let's check out the names of the offer. Uh, buy gems, get 30% more gems. So, yeah, you can buy gems. Gems are used for various things. They're used to revive yourself should you fall in battle. But the primary thing, is, thing you're going to be using gems for is summoning. We just got six gems, so let's do a summon. Let's go for a... Divine Summon. On occasion, Brief Winter will add in new units. Uh, looks like we're not getting one of the new units, or even an op Well, we may have an Omni potential here. And that's gonna be a thing I'll talk about next episode. Uh, nope. Per uh, Spring Flower Peony. Uh, I was hopeful that I'd get an Omni unit, but. Oh well, I guess we technically do have two Omni potential units right off the bat. We have. Slightly di Actually, we have three. We have Selena, which is an army potential, it's one of the starting units, really good unit to start off with, in my opinion. Um, I do recommend not starting with, Var with Vargas, because you get Vargas anyway. Uh, Vargas, another army potential, this one's already level 100. I guess we, had, we actually already have the stuff to um, evolve them, now that I think about it. No, because we're missing a Mecha God. And because I just logged in for right now, I get Alfelt, which is an, an army right, uh, right away. This will make sense in the next episode. Basically, there are um, eight different kinds of rarities. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Omni. So yeah, Omni um, units are the highest units, at least at the moment. Highest tier units. And they got Gaian, Zalamina, which I'm a personal fan of. And we got uh, Springflower Peony. So there's all that. Um, now, if you guys would give me a minute, I'm going to switch accounts so you can see the... Um, I guess further along of what I want to talk about. So give me just a moment. Oh, and I guess if you have multiple accounts, we just switch out. Just switch accounts as to um, 
do a Facebook logout and then log back in when, when you log into your next account on Facebook. So just a moment. Okay, so this is my, my more uh, progressed file. Um, you saw this briefly, but you can actually buy gems. And yes, you do actually use money to buy gems. But also alongside buying gems, you can get their special bundle packs. Um, each month has its own bundle pack, pack and it's, that's what uh, Gumi has been doing, or I, I don't know, I think it's Gumi. Gumi has been doing for Brave Frontier for the past, uh, since the beginning of this year. Uh, Omni bundles, because there's their new Omni units available, the um, Imperial Gods, I think, or Goddesses. And then World Heroes Special Pack. Because there's a new summon gate at the moment that I think, again, you guys saw very briefly. Um, the World Heroes Summon. You buy, there are special tickets that you can only, that you use for this gate only. And this gate only accepts those tickets. So, there's that. Um, I need to add myself here after I finish here. So really quick, I want to go over the uh, Guilty Gear collaboration. I think that's going to be the one thing for sure I want to do right now. Um, I can't really show off everything about it because there's a lot that I've already done. Uh, there are three dungeons, uh, Vortex dungeons. Vortex are basically like special dungeons that go on, uh, such as collaboration dungeons, special end game, like the Diving of World Heroes dungeon, which is uh, things there. Grand Guy uh, Chronicles, which are, are uh, very condensed battles. I uh, get not. Battles, but very condensed stories of lore within the game. Yes, the game has a lot of lore. And they're not Guardians lore. Daily dungeons, which are just dungeons that happen like in the change of every day. Uh, and technically, Witch of the Abyss, Hall of Melody, and Soulbound Saga, or daily dungeons now. Uh, they use various things. In Parade Garden, you use uh, various keys to go for that. But again, right now, I just want to talk about the collaboration dungeons. Um, these first you see right here, uh, Neo New York City, or Neo, Neo New York and Royal Court. You go through them and if you you have a chance of recruiting Sol and Kai from the Delta Gear series. So there's that. The Magnum Wedding is a dungeon that you use to get materials to craft various spheres, which I'll show that in just a moment, and Gathering of World Heroes. I'll get that and I'll actually do that one in, here in, in a minute to show my the squad that I'm using, because my squad is actually kind of cool. Uh, but the spheres for the Guilty Gear collaboration, there's quite a bit going on. Also for doing the Magnum Reading, you get um, special coins that you, that you exchange here in this event bazaar. And the only thing that's a real note, a real note that you want to get from this, if you do want to go for this, but you have so few days left to do this, would be this Elgif, which has a very special thing. Elgifs, you infuse into units and the unit gets an extra skill. And the Explosive Genoverse, I believe... Yep. Yeah. The Explosive Genoverse, because you can only get it through the bazaar. I can't show what it does because it doesn't tell me what it does just by looking at it, but I'll have a thing somewhere that says what it does. Um, and the spheres you can craft, and this is going to take a while because there's a lot of data I have on here. My phone's kind of slow with Brave Frontier to begin with, so... Um... Going... Yes, yeah, so you got PO8. So the ones for the Delta Gear event, uh, specifically are the Mist Confire, the Mist... Travelier and the new got PO8 and their effects are right there on the screen. Um, you need two confires to make a Travelier and two Travelier to make a new unit. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this personally because there's no point in me bothering with this, so I'm not too upset about that. And that's all I want to go about over for the Delta Gear event at the moment. There's also another dungeon, but I don't have access to it because you need to have basically nearly completed the uh, main game to get the, to the last dungeon. So, Gathering of World Heroes, there are two different quests. Uh, one's in the the way it's intended to be, to be done. The other one is in English. Um, I guess just for shits and giggles, I'll go with Gathering of World Heroes, the original one, just so you guys can see what's going on. And every time you go into a, a 
done uh, into a quest, you get to select a person you want to take along with you. Right now, there's a special thing. We get, uh, I technically it's um times eight um friend points, which are used for a different kind of seven, and I'll get into that in another video. Um, I want to take in a water unit that I have friended. I don't have one, so I'll just take you. And the way that you're typically going to be playing the game, and yes, this is the stuff I have because I don't really use items because there's not really much point in me using items most of the time, so there's that. Uh, the way that I play the game, and this is going to take a little bit because my friend's slow. So, this is a tad bit embarrassing, but between the time of that last segment I recorded and just now, um, I have not had time to, one, purchase a capture device to capture more footage for Brave Frontier, two, to actually record because I've been busy between that last footage and now, and three, um, the, the, the Gathering of Heroes dungeon has ended, um, which is no big deal because you only got like two rewards, you got an L gift, which is a unit that you fuse to other units to give them passive skills, this L gift gave, uh, yeah, this L gift gave 25% boost to all stats, so no big deal, there are other L gifts that you will get later on, and L gifts are handed out for collaboration stuff here and there. So you're gonna get plenty, and there are other ways to get other to get L gifts in general, so just it's not a big deal. Um, and you get three gems, which again not a big deal because gems are easy to come by, especially if you're starting off the game like I am right now. So nothing to worry about there. Um, however, the Gilded Gear collaboration thing is still going on at the moment. But you're probably not going to get the items, if, I, I, again, if you're starting off the game. If you're start, starting off the game, like, the main thing that you're going to be taking advantage of at the moment is, I think it's four times, is it four times? Technically, it's eight times, um, friend po points that you get for bringing people in to help you out for quests. So you're taking advantage, advantage of that, and I'm fairly certain that, um, the two times experience on normal quests are still going on, so... You said that to look forward to, um, in the next video, next time I record this, there will be a face cam for the video, as well as, like, actual sound effects, like, the program I was using didn't have, didn't record audio, so, fingers crossed that the capture card I'm using is not actually a capture card, it's a device, it's, the thing I'm using to record, hopefully that actually, actually captures audio as well, so, but time we tell, um, the next video for this should be up within the next week, I guess. Not sure how often I want to be doing this. I want to be doing this kind of frequently, but not too frequently. Um, I'll figure out schedule and you guys will see what it is. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!